All right, so what I'm going to do here is uh, I was going to, well, let me start over. So let's see, maybe I need a, uh, there we go. So today I am going to be showing you uh, replacing the little atomizer vape thing inside one of these smock uh i don't even know what model number this oh g150 um because my goal here is to record all the things i do and well that's what i'm doing right now so enjoy the video this probably isn't going to turn out too well I'll probably make a mess oh well okay um definitely want to get a paper towel for this uh so basically and mind you i'm no pro at this i don't know if i'm doing this properly i was uh uh originally taught by some old lady who sold it uh to me at a Smokey's smoke shop so uh who knows how pro she was but anyways uh we want to take it off the battery first of all the tank if that's what they call it, the cool kids. I don't know, I'm not one of these vapors. I'm just uh, an addict addicted to nicotine. So I, uh, yeah, all right. <laughs> all right, so now, motherfucker. Now we need some tools is basically where it's at. Hopefully I can reach my shit with uh, my microphone cord plugged in and hopefully all this works okay this video is probably not going to go anywhere oh god so I just made a mistake of when I set it down I didn't realize I had opened it luckily none spilled out but uh, yeah so make sure that that's good um, let's see if these fit around this top part. Make sure you don't get it on the glass because you don't want to crack that. Um, notice you don't really have to change these too often. So even though it's kind of a bitch to get them out. There, let me make sure that this is, there we go. So you don't want to have to do that extra turn once you get everything prepared because it's kind of, hard to do so you don't have to do it again let's crack this bastard open there we go and it's hard to tell which side's going to come off because it kind of screws in the middle come on you ugly nug fucker okay so maybe this video is going to turn out to be a fail. Um, here, let's take this shit off. Okay. <sighs> it's all fucking greasy. Okay. Um... This is going to be turning into a video that you sh should not smoke because this is not worth your time. All of this, unscrewing this stupid thing, filling it up with some mystery poison liquid that says warning, an addictive chemical. Here, here, buy this thing that we know you're going to have to buy later. How much is it, you say? Oh, well, it's pretty cheap at first. Oh, yeah, now it's this much. But it's addictive. All right, let's see if I can, come on you fucker. Uh oh, I'm gonna... luckily it's pretty much empty, so I should just get a little bit of residue on me. Okay, let's try this again. All right. Okay, come on. Wait, we wanna go this way, so. I'm an R-tard. Smoking's bad because it makes you stupid. As you can see, I'm a moron, 
And I smoke. But boy, are they delicious. Okay, something's happening. All right. Maybe we've got it this time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. I think that... Oh, no. Yeah, so I'm not even sure how this all works. Let's take this apart on video because I've never taken this thing off. It always unscrews a little. I always think that I can pull the whole thing out with... Uh, well, it just keeps going and going and going. That's all that is. It doesn't even seem necessary. Oh, maybe that's some sort of contact on the bottom of there for electrical contact is, I guess, my guess. Um, but really, I need to get this piece of crap out as it's been in there for quite a while. Normally, you don't want to put your pliers on threads, but since this is a... a what you call it? <sighs> Spent part. Why is it not... I don't understand why it's so fucking tight. Although, if you don't do them pretty tight, they're going to leak on you. That's for definite sure. But, well, like it's leaking on my paper towel that I luckily set down. Okay, so... Oh, there it goes. So, yeah, apparently you need pliers to do this. It's not a toolless setup. Okay, and it's pretty messy as it's all over everything. Okay, well... Let's not try to make a bigger mess. All right, let's pop one of these new replacement uh, atomizers. Um, yeah, so basically we're just going to screw that on in place. Uh, make sure it's tight because we don't want it leaking all over our pocket. Then we get this piece back in and start threading that back together. And you really do not want to crack this glass. They give you one replacement uh, glass, but yeah, it still cuts your hand and still sucks. So, of course, you don't want to break it. I don't even know why I'm talking about that. Here's this thing that you have. Uh, just take care of it, guys. Don't break it, because it costs money to replace, and breaking your thing sucks, in case you didn't know. I'm very informative. Um, I make sure that you have the all the details, even the ones you didn't know you wanted. Um, let's clean this crap off. Let's get this out of the way. I'll take this whole thing, because it's going to ruin my paper like it already has oh well whatever all right let's wipe this shit off actually i'm gonna get a little bit of actually let's pop the uh mouthpiece back in all right, there's still a little bit of liquid so i didn't uh didn't do too bad i mean <laughs> usually it's empty by the end of this process um it's usually a good time to replace it when it's really low like it was anyways but uh yeah um let me um let me get some windex so that i can really wipe this thing off let's see all right let me spray it Oops. there goes my microphone Fuck, I was going to put some bloopers or something at the end of this video, so I guess, whatever. I guess I'll just have bloopers all throughout. My whole life is one big blooper. Um, so, yeah, so there's uh, Windex there. Because well, I hate that greasy feeling of this fucking e-juice. It's disgusting. Okay. Okay. 
I am not sure why my, oh, I am sure why my recording stopped, but, okay, so this is the end. I need to just fill it up, flip top. I like the uh, vape. Uh, yeah, let me add a little bit more just to top it off because my video stopped. Now, this, this trying to video record everything that you do really highlights all the fuck-ups. It really highlights what an idiot you are, um, all the things you say wrong, how many times you say um. Uh, unless you like really pre-plan pre what you're going to do. You know, if I would have wrote down, okay, step by step, I need to unscrew this, get this prepared. I could cut it all, fucking make it look nice, whatever. I want you to see the struggles. Life is hard. Deal with it. There's no easy way out. Enjoy the end of this video. It should be interesting. Whoops. Maybe I should have muted before I started this. I was going to say cigarettes are bad. But now I don't have to. As you can see, Cigarettes and cigarette products make you slightly retarded. That is why I am slightly retarded. Even cigarettes from Mexico are bad for you. They just spell it differently. Look. I have more. Oh. Oh no. They give you what? Cancer? Doesn't everything give you cancer? Well, I guess it does, but you can try to quit. But these probably give you cancer too. Have they tested for, for that? I don't think they have. They swabbed some nicotine on some glue and told you to take your cigarettes through your skin. And then they said, well, let's not burn anything. Let's vape it. You want to quit? No. We have different levels of nicotine in our juice form of poison. We've got six milligrams, probably six milligrams too, I don't know. The point. The point. Oh, oh shit. shit. <laughs> I did it again. I need to remember when I do voiceover that I need to mute my speakers. I don't quite understand why exactly, but I understand what it does. I understand the problem. But we're not here to talk about that problem today. We're here to talk about the problem cigarettes. Although delicious and calming and good for a moment for yourself outside, free from work and around the birds, getting some sunshine during the day, if I don't smoke the real cigarettes, I stay in Zor's. If I smoke my e-cigarette, well, I smoke that all day. I'm gonna die of cancer, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure everyone's gonna die of cancer, actually. Because cancer kills, and cancer comes from everywhere. You can get cancer from things like asbestos. You can probably get cancer from hormones and cow milk although delicious as well 
and creamy. You can't have mm, cookies without milk. I mean, you can, but pff, why even live? Why even live? Smoking's bad. 